Good morning and welcome back to the channel. Uh, today I am going out on a treasure hunt. Uh, it's one that's run every year uh, by Motorbike Women and it supports a charity each year, different charity. This year is the, uh, I think it's called the Roots Foundation. They're based in Wales and they uh, help people that are in care, uh, get back into the community, uh, support the carers they do lots and lots of good work i shall put the link in the description to the website um so yeah so i'm out with uh stunt rider sue today and uh, we're going to go and find some treasures it's it's wings based so it could take us anywhere so i've got a nice list of places to visit so come along for the ride So we've just picked up Stunt Rider Sue on the phasers today. Uh, you might remember her from a previous video riding the Triumph Bobber. Uh, but today, because there's a threat of rain, she wants to keep that dry, so she's dragged the phaser out uh, for today's adventure. Our first stop is uh, Stoke Orchard in Cheltenham. Uh, and I think it's just a road name for the first clue and the first part of the hunt and it's called Wickham Way so aeroplane related and go and take our picture there and that'll be our first find of the day what a way to spend Good Friday so we're just going up on our first clue which is Whittle Way. Now we're in Stoke Orchard. Let's get down this next turn. These films on housing estates are funny because you just get random bikes turning up outside people's houses and you often get questioned as to what on earth is going on. <laughs> so here it is, Whittle Close. So. Take a picture by the sign. There we go, Whittle Close done. On to the next one. I think the next one is um, street art in the middle of Cheltenham. I think every year they have a graffiti festival and uh, it's one of those pieces of art so it looked really nice online when I looked at it and it'd be nice to see it in the flesh. So that's our next stop. So the artwork is somewhere around here. All right, I'll turn around. <laughs> Sit down there. Just going to do an about turn and then uh, I'll put you on the bikes out the front. Do, do, do. <laughs> yeah, our typical is a bloody car sat there now. Suddenly all the traffic in the world wants to be here. <laughs> There we go. Wow, that's amazing. So there we go, the Devonshire Street Owl. I'd love to know how they do these pieces of artwork so big and like how they plan it out and all that, but what a lovely thing to see. Right, so that's Cheltenham Street Owl, whatever you want to call him, Devonshire Street Owl done. Uh, we found him. And the next stop is the Sir Frederick Handley 
uh, blue plaque. I think it's just on somebody's house. Uh, but apparently, according to Wikipedia, he... Uh, what did he do? April 1962, and he was an English industrialist who was a pioneer of the aircraft industry. Uh, and he also became known as the father of the heavy, heavy bomber. Wow. There we go. So that's where we're off to. I guess it's his birthplace that we're going to visit. Um, so we'll see what's there. See you in a minute. So we found the place, but it's somebody's house. So we're going to just casually stroll by <laughs> take a sneaky photo and leave because it's up a private road as well that's really touchy <laughs> but anyway that's the house to the left graham fellow Why well, should leave my keys on the bike? It's all right. <laughs> it's quite a posh area. No one's going to steal it. <laughs> Look at these beautiful houses. Nice area. Yeah, and this adventure just takes you to the many places you haven't normally seen. It's amazing. On to the next one, which is the birthplace of George Doughty. Who, if you know this area of Cheltenham, uh, down to propellers. So, again, another aviation pioneer. Sorry, we're lost. <laughs> Really is on somebody's house. That was my sat nav has just gone on such a bender. My sat nav has just gone on such a bender. It's just making absolutely no sense whatsoever. <laughs> so here we are at the home of George Doughty of George Doughty Propellers. Look at these buildings again, absolutely amazing. Um We've been a bit crafty again because it's on somebody's bloody house. And we don't want to draw attention to ourselves. <laughs> so we're going to uh, sneak across and try and get a photo of George Doughty's old house. Was it in the next one? Oh, it was the next one. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> So we're just leaving Cheltenham now, and uh, next stop is the Jet Age Museum. Now I believe that entry is free. Um, my day job, believe it or not, I do have a day job, uh, is making uh, aircraft parts, uh, legacy items, so it's uh, lots of old licenses and uh, obsolete parts that we carry on making. Uh, for older aeroplanes, uh, both civil and military. And uh, so I already know about this uh, place, uh, the museum. And I think we've done quite a lot of work with them um, to help them do restorations and keeping the place spruced up. But I've never actually visited. <laughs> My bad. I 
don't think they're going to stay and visit visit it because um, we're quite hungry and we're going to stop at the spot after the museum uh, because it's a cafe and we can get a toasty or something to eat and a nice drink which might be a really good time with this if I don't think we've just gotten into Okay, I'm going to check out because I don't want my clubber to get wet. So I don't know if I just filmed the Jet Age Museum or not. Anyway, we've been to the Jet Age, it was closed. Um, yeah, it was closed. So now we're going on to the Aviator, which is just the other side of this area. So we've been starting uh, after a while. And, so we just got caught in a really big like hailstorm. But you wouldn't believe it because it's dry now here. <laughs> so visualizing showers. Uh, I don't know where flights go to and from here. I don't think there's anything particularly big coming or going, but. This is where our wonderful cafe is. There he is, the aviator. Cracking view for a cafe. So that's it, our bellies are full of panini. Just been to the aviator for something to eat and drink. Feeling refreshed. Just looking at all the rain that we're going to be heading into any moment soon. So, uh, yeah, so the next place is going to be somewhere I visited a few weeks ago, but I don't think I have my camera with me, and it's, um, it's a church with a really ancient beekeeper there. Um, quite an interesting place. <laughs> I'm so undignified getting on this bike when the cases are on it. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, uh, Hartbury. Um, so we'll see... What it's like, I kind of know what it's like. I've been there, like I said, but <laughs> oh dear, I'm waffling. Sorry, I think it's about 14 miles away anyway. It looks like we're gonna get wet on the way. That's okay, we got our club, we're on, we'll be fine. Okie dokie. Ready? Bye bye, aviator. Thank you for lunch. It's very nice. <laughs> you can't beat these. I'll tell you what dipped in the hot chocolate. Oh. Suck his ears. Oh. 
see so many rainbows today with these showers. It's been amazing. So much water about. Is it ever going to end? Oh my goodness. So we're on our way to Hartbree. Hartbree. Not sure how you'd pronounce it. It's this very quirky place. It's a church, but there's like, it's got the biggest long barn in Europe or something. And then this really unusual bee house. It's hard to describe, but you'll see when we get there what it's all about. I'll, uh, I'll read the board to you um, and tell you what it's all about. But off the top of my head, I can't quite remember. So we had our little chocolate stop at the garage while the rain passed, which was nice. <laughs> Just nice after that sandwich we had. There's been a whole lot of grinning today. <laughs> Look at that sky! Wow! So this is the bee shelter at Hartbury. It's quite impressive for bees. Let's go have a look at the board, see what it says. What does it say about the bee shelter then, Sue? Hey? What does it say about the bee shelter? Don't go all camera shy now. <laughs> so the Bee Shelter was built in the mid-19th century by beekeeping, beekeeping stonemason and quarry master Paul Tuffley. Uh, stone came from quarries, worked by the Tuffley family. Yada, yada. So there's the tithe barn. Uh, so it's the biggest tithe barn in uh, in the country. There we go. Uh, 161 foot by 36 foot. So that makes it pretty big, I'd say. <laughs> what else do you say about a tithe barn? <laughs> Apart from it's quite big. <laughs> So, uh, we're quite late in the day, uh, and the weather is really closing in. Just look at the state of that sky. 
Um, time's cracking on as well, and we're about an hour away from home. Uh, so it's just starting to rain again now. Uh, I'm going to take my camera kit off the bike again because the microphone isn't waterproof. Um, but yeah, what a day. What a way to spend Good Friday. Uh, I'm going to carry, carry on with this again tomorrow. Uh, do some more finds and uh, see how that goes tomorrow. Hopefully it'll be a bit drier. <laughs> see you tomorrow. Of course, I forgot. <laughs> I'm back again. Hey, yeah. Um, <laughs> to thank Stunt Rider Sue for joining me today, braving the weather in that incredible outfit that she's got. Just check her out. Um, it's been really good fun. Thank you, Sue. And I'm nice and dry. <laughs> and she's nice and dry. <laughs> right, over and out. <laughs>